hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can pass data to the previous screen using navigator in flutter so let's start so as you can see here i have a screen one and it has a text in the center which says data refresh and a button which takes to our next screen for example you can see this is our screen two and in the screen two we simply have a button and which has a navigator.pop which takes back to our screen one so now what we can do is using navigator.pop in our screen two we can simply pass anything that you want for example let's say a string like this anything or you can pass in an int or you can even pass in the bool variables okay so now what we can do is let's suppose we are expecting a string in our screen one so what we can do is we can simply write like this a string suppose refresh equal to and it will be an async function so write like this async and await so now what we can do is when the user pops back from screen 2 to screen 1 it, it is expecting a string so now what we can do is let's suppose we are passing a string here which says refresh okay and in the screen one what we can do is we will get the string refresh in this string refresh so we can check like this if the refresh equal to refresh because we know that we are sending refresh then what we can do is we can simply call a function or anything method that you want so that we can refresh the data in our screen too so for that what we can do is let's suppose we can create a bool variable first let's create a bool variable called suppose a value equal to false okay and we will also create a function which is change data and in here what we can do is we can simply change our value equal to true okay so now what we can do is suppose in the center where we want we can check if the value is true we can show something different like let's suppose we can show an icon let's take something like alarm okay we will increase the size else what we can do is we can simply use our data refresh okay so as now our value is false and now what we can do is we can check and we can use this if to call our function which is change data okay now let's just save our app so now look at here we will go to our screen 2 and now when we will go back again to screen 1 we should see that uh, this icon like this so we'll go to the screen 1 and now as you can see here the data on our screen 1 is got refreshed and we have our icon displayed here so this is how you can use navigator.pop and you can use here like to pass anything that you want to the previous screen and change the data on the screen as you wish. So hope you learned something and uh, do like, share, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.